Travis Wayne Goodsell. Now we got the church news. And it looks like I got a reply from Nelson. I'm going to make you watch the video. To wait till the end. So, uh, the church is taking credit for desks in Africa. Uh, Chris Matthews already has a charity that does this. Specifically to give uh, children in Africa everything they need for school. The desks, the books, paper and pen, pencil, whatever. So that uh, kids in Africa can get taken care of. He directly takes care of kids out there in Africa. And so <clears throat> it's his charity. So if you give to his charity, he makes sure that they get taken care of. And he actually goes out there and sees that it gets done every once in a while when he's not working on MSNBC. But uh, the church, no, they don't go out there. No. They give to a charity from Mormons' donations. And so it's a business deal for the church. The church doesn't do it. But the particular charity that they're doing business with so that they can make a profit off of is one that gives desks to children in Africa. It's a big difference between the two charities. One actually is charity. Uh, and then we have a Braid of Faith, Hope and Joy Help Sister Tamara W. Ron Ronia Live the Gospel And Christianity really screwed up that word uh, The actual Greek word is uh, Evangelon Evangelon Something like that. So you can see angel that's in there, which means message, messenger. And so it's technically the, the message. But uh, to use God spell, because that's where it comes from, gospel, God spell. It's a God tale, tale of the gods, which means not real not literal history and yet Christians are saying it's a not real not literal history account of Jesus <laughs> and yes the church does it too the higher gospel of Jesus which the church means polygamy child bride polygamy and apparently incest is okay with the church So, yeah, you, you don't live the gospel. <laughs> you can apply the precepts of the message. But if you don't even know the correct word and the correct translation of the word, it's likely you're not doing what you're saying you're doing. And primary general presidency. Primary children bear record of oh, Jesus Christ. Oh my God. <laughs> Again, another Christian screw up that's penetrated the church. <clears throat> you cannot bear record unless you've produced the fruits. Little children aren't even fruit yet. There's still little sprouts. <laughs> They're a long ways off from being fruit, let alone to get the fruit of who the true Christ of Mormonism is. I'll give you a hint, it's not Jesus. Jesus is a god tail. So, yeah, it's just, it's disturbing now. Knowing that the church is lying to us, knowing that they're a fraud and a criminal operation, this is all disturbing. They're grooming kids. 
with misinformation, miseducation, and these kids grow up to be adults with the miseducation and the misinformation. And it causes harm. You start banning the Bible for porn. <laughs> I mean, the ASL Bible now. <laughs> Did anybody catch that? You know, disabled kids now. Are they just going to skip those parts? They do, actually. <laughs> but if you're doing... you're reading and you're having somebody doing the sign along with the reading I, I mean what is the word for rape murder and cannibalism of little girls <laughs> it's in the Book of Mormon by the way <sighs> not to mention the child bride incest rape of Heavenly Father because Mormons take the Book of Mormon to be literal history. <sighs> Dear God. So, alrighty, let's get into it. <laughs> You've skipped to the video to this point. Here it is, right now, after I stop and begin to speak. I did a video late last night. It was specifically to Nelson. It wasn't to any of you, but I know he has narcs who spy on me. <laughs> and today, Thursday, is their weekly meeting. And so I made sure to sneak that in so that it would be available for him for his meeting when they'd present it to him or, or show it to him. And I, it had to do with him keeping his covenants. He tells us to make and keep covenants. Shouldn't he make and keep covenants? <laughs> well, yeah, he's made some. And it has to do with handing over the church to Jesus. So that's all I did. So it's time to keep your covenant, Nelson. Because Jesus doesn't really exist. Joseph Smith tells us who our real Christ is. And so I let him know. <clears throat> and so I've been waiting all day for the meeting to end and news of any kind of reply. And here we go. President Nelson asks on social media, so he did it on Facebook, I bet, so that I can't find it, <laughs> for examples of peacemakers. He said no. He doesn't want to let you go. He's continuing to hold you in bondage and is doing another stunt to distract you. Dear God, what an ass. Who is someone in your life who has built peace? Yeah, because you didn't. He's asking for examples of peacemakers, but it's not you, because he doesn't believe you're a peacemaker. <laughs> so he's asking you to ask for someone else. <laughs> doesn't like you. Yeah, Facebook. I might still be able to sneak this in. Maybe not. Because he knows I don't have a Facebook account anymore. I gave up before it hit the fan that 
Russia had been given our information because of Steve Bannon, who the church was ordering to do this. Sold it to Russia, and then Russia used it to rig our 2016 election. Because I found the secret book. It was published in the news. The Southern Poverty Law Center published it online. And uh, there's a playlist. <gasps> I got it. Awesome. Gotcha. <laughs> Notice it's not on YouTube. <laughs> he doesn't. Oh, wait a minute. He did a second one on Sunday? You're holding this back? Or is it for Sunday? Nope, it was on Sunday. He did a Peacemakers Wanted. So he's redoing it. We need more peacemakers. So this is in the Sunday one is in response to the uh, Bible ban. Are you kidding me? Oh, not letting me have this one. Dear friends, yeah, when you're flattering, pacifying, and deceiving people at the beginning, you know you gotta run from them. They're trying to con you. But all cons are educated on how to con people. It's what they do. playing in the background. No. said on Sunday. So, uh, I still don't see Garna. Where are you, Garna? Mahia. It's courtesy of the church news. She works for the church news. And yet, I never see her. It's Mary Richards. In two social media posts this week. President Russell M. Nelson, the president. Seriously, you gotta tell your. Re it's church news. We all know who he is. To God. <sighs> Invited individuals to become peacemakers. Because you're not being peacemakers, he's calling you wicked. Do you understand? When the prophets say something, wanting you to be good means you're bad. <laughs> and then ask them. See, you're supposed to find examples in your life of others who are good. <laughs> and so, yeah, it's they're expounding. He's expounding on his April 2023 conference in June. 
months later. Uh, that's Instagram. No, that's Facebook. It says Facebook. Yeah, he's not doing. He's not touching YouTube anymore. He gets banned on YouTube. <laughs> he got away with the, <laughs> the healing power of gratitude as medical misinformation. But uh, I've noticed a couple of conferences <laughs> are missing. You know, I uh, see. True disciples of Jesus Christ are peacemakers. Many of us have been beneficiaries. Who is someone in your life? I look forward to reading your comments. Bleep you! <laughs> it's funny. Yeah, it was also the same conference talk where you're saying that on social media you you can't have uh, you can't attack me on my social media site you gotta leave me alone all you thumbs downers <laughs> and hate comments and death threats that I've been doing lately not just over the years see Mormons are disobedient Nelson is right you're evil you're lazy learners, and now you're evil. Anger never persuades. So yeah, he's he's purposely repeating it in response to me because I did it on social media, and he's not doing it on YouTube. He's doing it on Instagram and Facebook, which I think Instagram is also part of the Facebook family, isn't it? Didn't they buy it out? <clears throat> and so, yeah, he's supporting Russia by sticking with Facebook and not YouTube. There's a reason for the season. Love your enemies. Oh, oh, uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> Misinterpretation alert. Misinterpretation alert. Eh, eh, eh. Oh boy. Oh Nelson. Oh, he's calling him the Prince of Peace. Isn't he the king now? <laughs> Isn't he the King of Peace? <laughs> Isn't he Solomon? <laughs> again, where does Prince come from? Of peace from Nelson botching it. <laughs> Israel. He said, Let God prevail. No, Nelson. It's Yah, Prince, Prince of God. <laughs> and there's a reason it's in the Jewish text. <laughs> and yet, all the manuals have now been changed. God, Nelson. See, this is why he doesn't do it on YouTube. <laughs> I hope I got it on... I think I did. Nope, he did that Sunday. Nope, that's the Sunday one is the one I got. Okay. So it says... Well, that says Sunday, though. That's today. So I didn't get that one. <clears throat> I want the one with that quote, so I can put them both together. <laughs> That's why you won't do it. You know, that's it. My dear friends, we need more peacemakers. As followers of Jesus Christos, we are called to be just that in a world. See, he says you're followers of Jesus, but you're wicked. 
Following Jesus makes you wicked? <laughs> Vulgarity. Fault finding. That's That's on Sunday, though, because that's a post. That's why. Oh, gotcha. Wasn't a video on Sunday. Gotcha. See, I can't click on it because they'll say, sign in. <laughs> you can't see this unless you're signed in. Evil speaking of others are all too common. So he's talking about the Bible here. And so, yes. Bible vulgarity is all too common. <laughs> and Book of Mormon vulgarity is all too common. Many pundits, politicians, entertainers, and other influencers throw insults constantly. He's just repeating his conference talk. So it was somebody else who's running this. Uh, but no, today, today was special. So what did he say today? Did he just do it in a video today? So maybe we can get it. We'll see. If you see it at the beginning, you know I got it.